So I got my um, heels for the NPC bikini show and I'm super excited um, to break them. And so I just wanted to uh, show you guys, let's see if I can, maybe, maybe the mirror or something, that grade in here. Um, but I think this is the easiest way to show you guys my shoes. Super blingy. Oops, sorry. Um, yeah, I am pretty excited. That's a little bit better. Um, they have a little bit of a platform, as you can see here. And these are, um, these are a size 7. I wear between a 6 and a half and a 7. Um, people said to size up, um, but I didn't want to go too big, so, um, they fit perfect. I'm glad I didn't go, um, any bigger. So this is, this is the box that it came in. Fabulicious is the brand. And actually, um, Allie is a lot more, um, popular, um, and it's the same price point. It even comes a little baggy. Um, but, um, I saw a few reviews or a lot of reviews on the LA that, um, that the toe section here, um, kind of comes up a little bit too high and your toes, um, look like they're coming out. Um, and everyone says like, oh, that's just normal. That's just part of the shoe. Uh, you just have to deal with it. And I didn't like, I, I just didn't like that look. Um, so I did a little bit more research and I took a chance on these and I'm really glad that I did, um, because they fit comfortably. The height is perfect. Um, I think it might be a five inch, but with the platform, it ends up being about three and a half or so. Um, so I'm going to try and break them in and see how I do, um, for a few hours just to get a better feel of. Or a better gauge of, um, we know whether they, they rub or pinch your toes or give you any type of, um, sores or anything, uh, like that. So, sorry, I can't really get a good, my lighting in here is really crappy. Um, but, yeah, here they are. Really excited, um, maybe... I'm more excited, not even, it's not even like that it's the heels, but, um, that it's just becoming, um, more real and just getting, getting closer. So, um, yeah, um, just thought I would, I would share my excitement, um, with you guys as you follow me on this, on this cheesy journey, um, of my first, um, NPC uh, bikini show. On my way to take Milo um, to the dog store, he has been a bit neglected um, with all my uh, training. Um, poor guy. So, let's see. He loves the window. Um, anyway, we're going to get his nails trimmed and get him some, some food and some goodies um, because cause I love him for no other reason. So, I guess we're off. Um, gonna go downtown to City Dog because they're awesome and they have um, they carry Honest Kitchen, which I love, which is a dehydrated um, dog food. So, not only do I eat healthy, but my um, my dog eats just as healthy. And and then I'm gonna grab some coffee um, over at the Bean Bar. Yeah, um, they're super delicious, and I don't get their. Um, I usually just go there when I go to City Dog because um, it's a little bit out of the way, even though it's only a mile from my house. Um, it is downtown, so parking can sometimes be um, an issue or a pain in the butt, depending on um, depending on the day. Oh, it's such a beautiful day. It is um, February, but it's like in the 70s, and um, it's just why people love California. It's just that beautiful weather year round so I am sitting outside um, just enjoying my Sunday afternoon um, it's my rest day so just kind of taking it in um, and just wanted to quickly um, just tell you guys what my workout split looks like um, for um, 
the training for the show for NPC. Um, so um, it is six days a week and it is, there's a leg day and then there is a um, back and biceps day and then there is a shoulder and um, biceps, triceps. I'm sorry, that was completely wrong. Leg day, back and try, shoulders and back. Um, so that's, and then I do it all over again. Different exercises though. Um, it's super intense. They take me about um, 115 to about an hour and a half. It's um, really challenging, but it's definitely um, gonna, it's gonna get me where I need to be. And I am enjoying seeing, seeing the progress and just being part of team one um, and having these, um, these goals um, together and uh, not being alone in my, in my fitness journey. So thank you guys. So I finished my milk prep and I was um, putting it away, but before I do, I thought I would show you guys um, what I'm eating this week and maybe give you some tips and tricks on um, on how to prep, um, just to make your week easier. Um, it's definitely more convenient. It um, provides me a lot of uh, less stress, not having to worry about um, having to make food or um, being short on time or running from one thing um, to another. Um, so just having some meals on hand, um, not necessarily, you don't have to necessarily have all of them, but just having something. So I am, um, I do a lot of, I do half, I cook some stuff and then, um, some stuff I buy already pre, pre-made, pre-cooked just, um, out of convenience. Um, I love convenience. So, <laughs> So um, it saves me a lot of time. If you love being in the kitchen all day, then more power to you. Um, I like to pick and choose um, what I want to cook, and then some stuff I just I just buy from me, depending on the week um, and depending on what's going on and what I just am in the mood for. So this weekend was super busy, so I got a lot of pre-made um, food, but good stuff. So I thought I would change up my eggs in the morning by having a um, chicken fried rice um, style. So I am doing about a cup of this, a little bit over um, a cup, just because it has some other um, goodies in there. Um, I got this at Whole Foods, it's just some pre made fried rice, um, clean ingredients, just the rice and the veggies. And then I did cook <laughs> my Vital Farms. Um, Egg. So I have one egg, and I'm gonna throw that in the um, in the rice to add um, to the fried rice, and then I'm also gonna add um, two ounces of chicken. And this was pre um, pre grilled. I did not make this, so sometimes I will buy um, chicken that's already um, grilled, chicken breast. And you can just re reheat it, so you just keep it in the freezer. Great to have on hand, um, even if you're not like meal prepper or anything like that, or even take it anywhere. It's just good to have in the freezer um, for nights that you can't cook. So I'm having chicken fried rice for <laughs> for breakfast. Kind of random, but I just thought I would play it my eggs. Um, and let's see, for my lunch, I am having. Um, corn tacos, but instead of having shrimp, I also thought I would play it up, and I am doing um, some calamari, so I got some some calamari, this I did cook, and to get some of my good fats, I um, did saute in a little bit of coconut oil, um, and then I'm going to do two, probably two corn tortillas, um, Corn tortillas are great because they're gluten free and they still taste delicious. And then I'm gonna have it with um, some some avocado. So that'll be my my my, uh, my tacos. And then I will do um, either eggplant. I roasted some eggplant, so I did cook this. So I decided to cook my veggies this week and not my not my um, chicken. And then I also have this um, roasted bell peppers and roasted heirloom tomatoes. Um, 
So I just have that on the side, either or probably with both my breakfast and my and my lunch. And then um, for my last meal, meal number three, because um, right now I'm on three meals. Oh, and I also have some chopped up um, cabbage slaw stuff to add to the tacos. Yum yum yum. Really looking forward to this. Um, last meal, super simple. I'm gonna do um, about probably four ounces of um, chicken and then some organic sweet potatoes. Um, and these are um, nice and packaged for you. I get these at Whole Foods, but I'm sure Trader Joe's and other places have them too. Um, well, these are non-GMO or inorganic, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna have um, sweet potatoes and chicken for my dinner. So my dinner, I did not, I decided not to um, make myself. Um, and it's also nice um, because it can be a little bit flexible if I decide um, to meet someone for dinner or my, my plans just change for that third meal. Um, it won't go bad because it's just, you know, frozen and I can have it another day or at a later time. So those are just some of my tips, um, picking and choosing, you know, what, what you want to cook and what you don't. So, you know, sometimes I'll cook my rice and sometimes I'll cook my chicken. Um, this time I, I cooked my eggs. Oh, I also have some, some egg whites, um, for breakfast to add to that. Um, and I think that's it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little bit all over the place. This was kind of a last minute um, idea to to show you guys because I always forget um, to show you what I'm eating. So I hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions, comment below. Um, I'm more than happy to, to answer, to help you guys out, to encourage you, inspire you, motivate you um, to just a healthy well-being and taking care of yourself because that's what this is about. All right, I will uh, check you later.